So the purpose of this video is to illustrate electromagnetic field radiation. I'm holding in my hand, it's a tri-field EMF meter, and it measures low-frequency, non-ionizing electromagnetic field radiation. We're going to start with an overhead transmission line, and I apologize in advance for the wind. I've got my back to it right now, but when I turn around, it's gonna, the, the wind noise will probably get pretty bad. So, um, But watch what happens as we approach the overhead transmission line what the reading, what happens to the reading. Okay, so I've got the meter turned on and it's at a 2.345 reading. And now we're going to approach the overhead transmission line. So we're at 3.9, 4.3, we're getting a little closer, as you can see. Almost under them. Okay, so we're pretty much right under the transmission line right now, and you can see how it's just off the charts. So this is why you don't want to live next to big transmission lines like this. They throw a ton of electromagnetic field radiation, and that's what changes, you know, your cellular makeup. It changes your DNA over time if you are exposed to this stuff long term. So that's our first example. That is overhead transmission lines. And we'll move on to the, the next thing. Okay, so now we are measuring the EMFs on a smart meter, Evergy smart meter. So as you all know, back in the day, Evergy um, had analog meters. They would come out read the meter in their trucks and then recently they replaced all of their analog meters with smart meters and so what we want to show here is the EMFs produced by these smart meters so we're kind of lucky because ours sits out away from our home but most people's um, meters sit on the exterior wall of their house and where this is mostly concerning with regards to the EMFs from smart meters is if your meter is attached to your house on the opposite wall of, for example, your bedroom. So you will be exposed to dirty electricity while you're sleeping because it will be right on the opposite wall where your head is. So here we are, we're approaching the meter. Okay, so again, a lot of peak EMFs in the 78 to 80 range. So if this, you know, imagine this is on the other side of your wall. You may be like right in about that range with the thickness of your wall and your head. 
So with Evergy smart meters, and I could be incorrect about this, but I do not remember giving Evergy permission to swap out our analog meter with a smart meter. Um, maybe it was in some kind of fine print in their monthly bill. But this right here, I think, is an infringement on consumers in terms of their, you know, choices to be protective of their health. So FYI on that, we'll move on to the next thing. Microwave oven. So there you go. That's about the same as the smart meter outside. A little worse. So even though they say microwaves are okay to stand next to when they're running, probably not a good idea. At least not for any length of time. And the Wi-Fi router. So this device on the right is a T-Mobile cell phone signal amplifier. And this device over here is a Motorola mesh extender. Lots of peaks. This is what's bad for your cellular, your DNA, or these frequency spiking back and forth. It's going through your body. So the important thing to remember with Wi-Fi mesh or cell phone extenders, if you have them in your house, especially if you're a rural person like we are, um, separate it from your body as much as possible because this is almost a necessity, live in rural, to have these devices. So the further you place them, just don't be sitting next to them all day while you're working. You know, make sure that you're placing them a great distance from your body because, you know, you'll get back into the safe zone. So these are the things to remember with all these electronic devices that we're surrounding ourselves with today. Okay, so let's see if I can get... So this is a cell phone when... It's not in use in terms of calling. And if you spend a lot of time on the phone, let's dial um, and connect to the, the tower and see what kind of electromagnetic field radiation is generated. That is a mobile device. Refrigerator, freezer. Not too bad. Last, we'll capture the EMFs of um, a plasma TV. Turn it on. Not too bad with this TV especially since most of the time you're sitting quite a distance from it.